Bath taking on a Shawnee tonight, a game that we will see tomorrow night on the Sports Report. First possession of the game, Indian Griffin Heights looking to pass, finds Cody Rollins over the shoulder grab, and Rollins not going to be caught as he gets into the end zone. Shawnee with the early lead. Bath responds, Eric Hefner on the jet sweep, breaks a couple of tackles, reverses field. Hayden Atkins providing the downfield blocking, and Hefner another long touchdown for the Bath Wildcat. Time the game at seven apiece. Next drive for the home team. Cameron Jenkins looking deep. Gets Hefner, makes the completion, finally brought down at the 35-yard line. Later in the drive, Jenkins lofts it up to Colin Gossard. Gossard pulls it down for the score as Bath would go on and get the victory as the Wildcats have now won three in a row as they defeat Shawnee 34-14. Final WBL stop, Defiance traveling to St. Mary's. They didn't take the train because there's folks on the train tracks watching the game at Skip Bachman Stadium. Defiance punting, and check this out. The ball deflects off of St. Mary's Logan Mays, rolls down the field. Braden Frederick able to recover it for Defiance. Next play for the Bulldogs, Will Bat quickly to his right as Colton Relia makes the catch. On the goal line now, Defiance hands off, but Trent Slife and the rest of St. Mary's defense comes up with the stop in the Ryder student section, loving it. Fourth down now for Defiance. Bat able to avoid the rush, takes off, far sideline, dives into the end zone. The Bulldogs get the touchdown to cut the Ryder lead at 23-13. And Defiance would attack on 13 more points, 14 more points make that, as Defiance gets the 27-23 victory. As we take a look at the Western Buckeye League standings, Kenton remains alone in first place. So Line and Wapakoneta remain a game back, and Bath and Elida tied for fifth with Defiance now in fourth place.